have here. This is uh, Pamlico Sound. I guess they call it a conflux where the Moose River and the Trent River, I believe, both come into the Pamlico Sound. Across the water over there, I don't know if you can see it or not, is a nice little town of New Bern, North Carolina. It is the place where you'll find the uh, Tryon Palace. Which was the governor's mansion for this area back in uh, 17 whatever. It's a pretty little town. It's got uh, <coughs> excuse me a lot of history. Some beautiful homes. Nice waterfront living if you can afford it. Nice view from up here on the ridge, though. This is Atlantic Beach. Not a bad little beach town. Just like everywhere else. A little expensive, especially during this time of year. Parking is hard to find always. What you can find, they charge you for it. But, we're going to ride down here today. Look out at the ocean. Head back up the highway, another route, a little more two lane instead of four lane highway. And just enjoy the ride. After an hour and a quarter sitting in the saddle, On top of this lovely Harley Davidson motor. My thighs are a little hot. Not that y'all care. <laughs> but when you stop like this, those of you with a Harley know what I'm talking about. It pumps out the heat. They do make some, uh, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> they do make some heat shields for it. They go right under the, let's call it the inner thighs. I don't know what the hell they call it. If I ever decide I want to spend about $130 on them, I will go buy some. See if we can find a place here. To overlook the ocean. Because that is half the reason for the trip down here. Condos, 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 beach houses for rent. I guess it's big investments for some people. And the hurricanes come along, blow them down. I have to help pay for them with my insurance money. Don't really like that. But welcome to North Carolina. Probably a large portion of the 
U.S. that has uh, oceanfront property. I understand that many, many years ago, these uh, scrubby trees were thick as they could be and all the way up to the edge of the water. And I'm sure the natives that live here thought they had a great life and had it made until they saw a ship sail into their harbor. talk about so I guess you uh you guys just look at to look at the condos for a while <laughs> let's see beach side burgers and pier Sign. Although they're not talking about us, share the road with bikers. <laughs> Maybe they are. But we don't get our own little bike path. That would be kind of neat. I think it'd be nice to have a, a nice two lane bike path. All the way from here to California. San Diego would be nice. With nothing but motorcycles. I don't even think I would mind paying a little, a little toll. Maybe one toll per state. Of course. <laughs> Texas would bitch and say that they needed a little more toll money because they're a little bit longer than everybody else. But considering the last time I drove across Texas, especially from Austin, Texas into Phoenix, Arizona, they should pay me to drive that damn road. Not much to see here, so I'll shut her down. Okay, we parked that bike. We gotta walk through the sand a little bit. And look at the ocean for a second.
Not a bad view. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> oh yeah, that's nice. I might even come down here one day and lay out during the week when there's nobody here. Hope this thing is working. For those of you that don't have a beach, I'm sorry. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't come down here a lot. But it is nice. This is Atlantic Beach. This is another little town here along the coast, Emerald Isle. Got some beautiful houses. The, uh, to me, <laughs> even though it's only, I don't know, three or four miles difference, the sand is different here on the shore than it, it was back there where I stopped before. Up here at this end, for whatever reason, it seems to me to be a little more like fine pebbles instead of sand. Odd, odd. My favorite beach I've ever been on is in Siesta Key, Florida. On the Gulf Coast of Florida, just down from uh, Sarasota. If you ever get a chance to go down there, it has the whitest sand. It's so bright. I mean, you have to wear sunglasses. It actually, the reflection hurts your eyes. And the sand is so soft. Uh, when you walk, it squeaks. Now, I read something about it, and it's made out of whale shit and some other stuff, they say. <laughs> but it's like baby powder. And the coolest thing about it, no pun intended, is it doesn't get hot. Well, hot enough to burn your feet like most beaches do when you're in the middle of freaking July like we are. You walk out on the sand, hit down here, and it pretty much burns your feet by the time you get to the water. Down at Siesta Key, it doesn't do that. And uh, whatever they say it's made of is the reason for that, the makeup of the sand makes it so fine and makes it so cool. I don't know what it is. Look it up. Google it. Google it. Siesta Key, Florida. You want to make me a happy man? Buy me a house on the beach there. I guess the, the view you're getting through here though really doesn't. <laughs> Hole. Doesn't show you much difference in Emerald Isle and Atlantic Beach. Just condo after condo, whatever. So, you know, I, before I came to North Carolina, I had never heard of that game. I just passed back there. I don't know if you saw it when I turned my head. It's a game called Cornhole. I know. We throw it in his bean bags through a hole in uh, a wooden structure, sort of like uh, horseshoes without the horseshoes. And I think it's probably named after a hole in the wall and a, a barn where Farmer Joe would push corn through the hole to feed his animals.
course, growing up in Mississippi, as a young redneck boy, that's not what uh, everybody thought of when you mentioned cornhole. And I'm not saying anything else about it. That's all for now. Bye. Nice view from up here, huh? <laughs> I wish I could stop and take some pictures. I like these, I guess they call them tidal flats, whatever they call these things. I don't know what they call it, crap. I think they're very pretty. Ladies and gentlemen, is the end of our beach excursion. Y'all have a good one.